hello guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to explain you the next uh, fittings which is uh, dampers okay so how to calculate the friction loss in the dampers uh, uh, from acer handbook uh, 2001 fundamental helm handbook so before i start this video i would like to request you all guys if you still not subscribe my channel please do subscribe in and uh, hit the bell icon as well uh, when uh, so that whenever i upload any video you will get the notification of that video so let us start now so as you can see this is uh, our critical path and here is one damper so how to calculate the fitting loss for this damper so let us open this uh, excel sheet and uh, let us delete this first okay and then here is your tag number so just keep it keep as it is and vcd volume control damper butterfly and uh, size of the duct is width and height so let us look for the size here so you can see here the 300 by 250 okay so size of the duct is here 300 by 250 so it will be same here no need to change anything okay and the damper blade is open zero degree because from acer handbook 2001 you can see the damper cr9-1 damper butterfly so theta will be zero degree when you open the damper so it will it will be it will make zero degree okay it will make an angle of zero degree so no need to change here anything just to change the flow so flow you can see here the 566 uh, cfm convert into liter per second so just uh, divided by 2.119 so it will be 267 liter per second change here the green color is user input so 267 okay So loss coefficient using this AONH by W from ASRA handbook data here H by W is you have to check here 0 0.83 0 0.83 so here is not available so just go for the higher value which is 1 ok and next is uh, you need uh, theta so theta is uh, 0 degree so whenever it is co uh, coincide these two from this side and this side it is coinciding at 0 0.08 so loss coefficient is 0 0.08 then here average velocity is equal to v is equal to qy 1000 into ao so already the formula is applied here q by 1000 into e4 ao okay and velocity pressure so average velocity and velocity pressure is 0 0.602 v square so already here and then total pressure is coefficient loss coefficient into velocity pressure so it will be 0 0.12 and just highlight here and uh, just i have i have copied this one from this table only and paste it here so this is your pressure drop if there is will be another fitting or another damper in the same route so you have to just copy this for example i have another damper so let me copy this and paste it here okay for example this will be at a position of 12 and the size will be 250 by 200 okay and the flow will be 210 for example okay then h by w is equal to 0 0.80 0 0.80 is not available so nearest value is 0 0.0 nearest value is 1 and theta is 0 so it will be 
co will be 0 0.08 so there will be no changes here that means 0 0.12 the total pressure so here the uh, here will be the last uh, row is total damper friction loss so in addition of all these will be added here calculated here so 0 0.25 and this uh, same will be reflected here in the total pressure drop sheet which is for the dampers so damper loss is 0 0.25 you can check it here 0 0.25 so i hope you guys learned something from this video so please uh, share my video with your friend and please like and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribed yet so thank you for watching my video thank you thank you bye bye